Studio Projects is a lightweight document storage and management system that lets you share files and manage access for all project members. These stored files can be checked out and edited by individual users. Once checked back in, the file history is logged and stored for later review. To create a new project, log into Studio and click the project icon. Click the Add button and select New Project. Name the project and click OK. A nine-digit ID is assigned to the project. Your empty project will then load into the main workspace. At the top left is the name of the project, and you'll be prompted to upload files, or folders, or create a new folder. Use the available buttons, or click and drag from the computer's file explorer. These files can be of any type, including image files and spreadsheets. You can also have more than one project open at a time. This is great for accessing files from multiple projects. Once you finish uploading all of your documents, you have a navigable view of the folder structure at the left. You can search for any specific files in that folder using the search bar at the top. There's also breadcrumb navigation, showing exactly where you are in the project. By default, the files appear as thumbnails and will show a preview of the file once checked back in. Click the Details icon to show a list view instead. Click on the Invite icon to invite members to your project. From there, type in the emails of users you want to invite, or use the address book. You can also add a specific message if you want. To change who has access to your project, go to Project Settings, User Access. All of the users who have joined the project can be seen here. Select a user, then hit Deny to block them from the project. To restrict access to only invited users, make sure to check Restrict Users. If left unchecked, anyone with the project's ID number can access the files. For customized permission settings, click on the Permissions tab. Attendees is a default group that contains all added users except for the creator of the project. You can add single users for individualized permissions or add them to a group using the group settings, then adding the entire group to the permission list. Click the user or group to bring up the applied permissions. Click on each item to change the permission to allow or deny. Once finished, click apply. You can also adjust the folder permissions to Read, Read-Write, and Read-Write-Delete from the Folder Permissions tab. Keep in mind that the default for the folder permissions is Read-Only for All. This will make sure that they cannot add files or delete files from the folder unless you want them to. To view a file, double-click on it. If the file is not a PDF, it will open in its native application. If you open a PDF, the document will open up in review as read-only. You can tell if you're in this mode by looking at the Document tab. If a lock icon is showing and the markup tools are grayed out, that file is not yet checked out and therefore can't be edited. To edit a file, right-click on the Document tab and click Check Out. The lock icon now turns into a check mark, and the markup tools are no longer grayed out. When you check out a file, anyone who views the document will see the last saved version and won't be able to check the file out and make their own edits. Once finished with your edits, right-click the Document tab and click Check In. You can add a comment or two to explain the revisions made. If you want to keep the file checked out, but want to make sure that other project members see the current changes, you can right-click the tab and select Update Server Copy. Check the revisions made to a file by right-clicking on the file and selecting Revision History. From here, you can see the version number, the date the revision was made, by whom, and any comments they might have made. Click a version to open or restore it. To share a file, right-click on the document and click Share Link. You can adjust how long the link to the file lasts, if it needs a password to view, and if you want to flatten the document before sending. Keep in mind that any time the file is updated, the link will automatically direct to the newest version. 
If you need to download a copy, right click on the file and select download to save it to your hard drive. And while you can continue to use projects to track updated files, you can also send a PDF file to a session and invite users to review and mark up the file all at the same time. Right click on the PDF, then click add to new session. 